All right, I got here a 2019 Chrysler Pacifica. Customer complaint is the fan doesn't work and it's overheating. Um, they, he said he checked power and ground and it was good. And then he said he thinks there was a signal, so he replaced the fan and he has the same problem. So I just want to scan it for codes. My the subscription expired on my tap down, so I'm using my launch because I need to get into the gateway. And for that, I need um, a current subscription. All right, let's just do key on engine off. Shut the door. Alright, we want to bypass the gateway. You have to be online for this and you have to be reg registered with auto auth. The scan tool has to be up the serial number has to be uploaded and then it'll pass to the gateway. Now you have to have this is a subscription up to date. It's not the tool's fault, it's auto auth only lets a tool with a valid subscription pass through. Alright, I think we're unlocked. Alright, let's do a full scan. Alright, there's no codes on the PCM. It's going to take a while because a lot of times we'll have to download stuff when it's working. So while this is running, I'm going to go look at a diagram. All right, so what do we have here? We have in the BCM, we have three stored codes for ambient temp sensor, put a jar circuit, but they're all stored. They're not current codes. And here we have implausible data received from the RF hub module and the RF hub. We have tire pressure sensor low and kilo century fob one better low. Okay, nothing to tell us about the fan circuit. So let's look at a diagram now. All right, here's a diagram. It looks like a relatively simple circuit. There's just, here's the radiator fan. There's three wires. There's a black that's constant ground. Um, there's a red and brown wire on pin one, which goes to, we're on a regular three six. Fuse 4. It's either an 80 or a 50, depending if it's heavy duty or light duty. And then has this thing controlled. There's a third wire, a signal wire, which comes from a regular 3.6 from the PCM. So it's just, there should be constant power and ground. Well, actually, I don't know. When is it with the battery on? Let's see. Hot at all times. We should have constant hot at all times battery and ground going to this thing. And then the computer should tell us when it's um gives it a signal to turn it on so before anything let's check power and ground at this module and then we'll check power and ground and then if that's good we'll check the signal wire we'll buy the actually control it to turn the signal wire on all right so this piece just comes out All right, so I got here, here's the fan. Um, so here's the connector. So we have a power and ground over here, and this is a signal wire. Now, if you look at this plug, it has four wires. They're all full, all the cavities are full. And here it's only three. So there's a red, a black, and a red and a black. Now, I don't know which one's the signal wire, but if you look at the old one, I got it over here. I don't know if this is OEM or not, but it also has four wires green blue red and black somehow it's made for i guess both for probably for two different the probably the hybrid and the regular so let me get a test light and i'm going to check for power ground on these and then we'll see if we get a signal on that bi-directional control it right now i got a 4 amp test light i'm going to put it across the power in the ground and see if it lights up and it does so i know i have good power and ground i don't have to check my 80 amp fuse 
We should be all good over here. And I'm gonna pierce this wire right here, plug it in, and then check, try to buy the actually control it. Okay. Actually, this is clearly an aftermarket fan. It says UAC on it. I don't know if you can see down there. All right, but I got this wire pierced. Let me put it in the scope. All right, I'm gonna use this little scope. I'm going channel A. Ground the scope over here on the battery terminal. Plug it into this thing over here. All right, we have 12.2 volts on this signal wire. So I'm assuming it's a pull down circuit. The computer grounds this to turn the fan on. All right, good. So, and we have a scope here. We got 11.4 volts because our battery is getting low. All right, we're gonna go to 80%. And you see we have a signal on the screen. It's pulse whipping it. Now, if I wanna see it clear, I would go to nanoseconds to make the speed faster. And now you see, I can see it clearly. It's pulse with modulation of this fan and it's giving a signal to this fan and it's not turning on. Could it be that it's using the wrong wire? Could it be it needs to give the signal to this one on this aftermarket fan because there's four wires? That's definitely a possibility. Uh, the easiest way for me to test that is I'm just going to jump the signal to the other one. Because there are four wires. Now, I'm assuming it's for a different make. Probably for like a hybrid or something, but it's very possible the aftermarket got this wrong. To be honest, even the, the, I have seen many 2018 Chrysler issues where when they wire, when they change a component, they switch the wiring around and they make you dependent. Now, on this one, I did not see it. This is a 2019, and I didn't see it for this car. I looked before I came here. I looked at TSPs. I didn't see any need to change it around, but, you know, it's still possible. So I'm going to jump that signal from here to the red one here we go let's look at the scope it's still running and it still doesn't work All right, looking around over here, I see that this headlight was definitely replaced, and this whole thing's bumped out. I'm assuming this thing was an accident, and this is very likely not the original fan. Question is, did it ever work? I have no idea. I don't know. I really need to call them and find out exactly what happened. All right, I looked for TSBs on the 2019 and the 2018 in case this was replaced. And no one said anything about changing around the, the connector over here. I even jumped power through, meaning I, I couldn't depin it. So I jumped power through a tool just to get pulse with modulation to the other signal without by directly controlling the thing and nothing doing. So, I don't know, I think this was replaced at one point. I can't figure out if this was ever worked or not. I, I don't know, I don't have the information, but I'm calling this fan. Uh, I think it's just a bad fan. I'm gonna tell him to get an OEM one because, you know, there's the aftermarket and there's a lot of variables. But whatever, that's pretty much, I can't think of any other tests to do besides we have power ground signal going through, it coming out, so that's it. I'm gonna call it bad fan. I'll keep you posted. All right, thanks for watching.
two days later. Just a quick update We're after replacing with an OEM fan. We got it working. Thank you, Advanced Level Diag.